some of our landings were desperate adventures. We are now prepared to meet the inevitable counterattacks with power and with confidence. Hey there, everybody. This is Cole um, doing something new. Going to try this out. I've had an itch to play some older games we had covered on Bonfireside Chat. And because I have that particular sickness that turns everything into content, I've decided to stream it for you. So I'm going to be picking up um, the beginning of Kingsfield, the Ancient City, a game I have not played for a very long time. <laughs> So this will be fun. Um, and uh, you'll see over there in the right, I have I have a, uh, a, a death counter. Press a button here. Yeah. So, so uh, we're going to see how this, uh, how this goes. Uh, if there's a good response to this, I'll keep on doing it. I'll probably put out a poll um, to see what time works best for folks. Uh, try and get a time hammered down. I would also like to bring back cold playing games as a general thing. Thanks for understanding the uh, the YouTube stream as opposed to Twitch. We're trying to keep uh, Bonfire Side Chat as a benefit for y'all. Okay, um, let's get started. This is going to be pretty uh, pretty rough, actually, because <laughs> I have uh, not played it really at all. Okay. Let me also check and make sure the walk effect. No, that will make me motion sick. The cursed land lies deep in a dense, colorless forest. Hidden within this land is an ancient city, once known to the forest folk as the Holy Land. Buried in the depths of the city, a warning was discovered long after the rulers have fallen. Grave misfortune will befall those who behold the idol that stares into the darkness. The idol taken from the ancient land led the kingdom down a path of destruction. I am hugely into this VO. must be returned. Under a dark and cloudy sky, the Swordmaster led his men to the ancient land. The cursed land swallowed the soldiers, and all that remained was dark silence. Okay, and here we are. So we're gonna have to get used to the um, slowness of the game. I do not wanna walk on that gray stuff. Uh, if you're curious about this game, we did a four-episode series uh, several years ago on Bonfireside Chat, and uh, we liked the game quite a bit. So this is David Bunch's shop. Let's go in here. Uh, you're gonna notice some real similarities to uh, to Souls. This 
such as this fella right here. I'm from Heliden. My soldiers, my fellow soldiers went to the ruins. We were sent here to help rid our country of the curse. You don't look very well equipped. Here, take this. <laughs> Thanks for the stick, bro. Let's see what else he has to say. In this land are underground ruins called the Ancient City. The expedition team was sent there. I became ill while we were camped out here. Hmm, who are you? Doesn't matter. You can't be of much importance since you're here. This land is swarming with monsters. Be careful. All right, um, gonna equip stuff. Um, I could have sworn that I picked something up. There we go. So, the way this works right now um, is... Okay, so you'll see a red meter filling up in the upper left there. That's kind of like my endurance. Um, while it is full, it uh, will do full damage. If it is empty, um, then it will uh, do less damage. So you want to wait in between things. Okay. Still David Bunch's shop. This guy gets around. Good. See here, is there a run button? Kind of. <laughs> Miner's graveyard. Okay, there's another dude back here. I think maybe he gives me something. <laughs> we'll uh we'll be going over there later. I had no idea things were like this. Is there any other way? My wife is waiting for me on the other side of the cliff. Dot, 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 dot. Um, a man named Babs asked, uh, what drew you guys to the fourth Kingsfield in particular? Uh, the fact that it was more modern uh, also, I mean, just that it is more modern makes it a little bit closer to Souls in our head, you know? Uh, that, and it's good. It's kind of its own standalone, standalone little story. Where are you at, David? There you are. A customer. How odd. So, I have no gold. I came here literally naked and empty-handed. Um, I forget how to save. I would like to save a game before I go do any combat. Um, all right. Uh, yes, Jack D. Edwards, this is a PlayStation 2 title. And that weapon is not strong enough to break either the barrels or those boards. Uh, 
Um, and I don't want to go in there because I'm going to drown. I need to get sufficient health to pass. Uh, save point is the cross on the wall, Eli says. Thank you. Looking for a cross on the wall. I'll just keep an eye out for a cross on a wall. Uh, I think maybe... There we go. It's like a little Cthulhu statue. Ooh, yeah. Uh, my old save. Area old battlefield. About 20 hours. So what I want to do right now is gather up gear from this area by doing a little bit of exploring. Oh, don't worry, Eli. Don't worry, Eli. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is a substantially more unfriendly and old school style game. jump, but there will be another way up there. Alright. First kind of enemy here. Coming at me. So they drop herbs and they drop money. Hey there, coal mine canary. I sleep too much. Uh, so there are a man named Babs ask. Uh, are there different weapon types or different class types? Uh, no, there, so there are different weapons, uh, and there are spells and things. You just kind of become a general spell sword kind of guy. Red mage, dealy. Again, continuing to explore here, looking for gear trying to get ready. I would like to get to the mines tonight and maybe into the palace.
Ooh, two of them. Damn it. So, that's damage. <laughs> Flower Abriatus. Yeah, for people who missed the opening intro, there is an ancient city that has fallen into disrepair and been abandoned to monsters deep inside a colorful forest. A kingdom came and stole a cursed idol from it, and now all of these expeditions have been led to bring it back to its resting place in the city. And you're playing as the prince of a kingdom that is falling to the curse, bringing the idol. The pace of the game does pick up substantially. We're not always going to be smashing the Venus fly traps with attacks that are, uh, you know, five seconds apart. <laughs> It's, um, it'll be worth coming back here later when I have a better weapon, like a Morning Star or something, that will let me bust open those barrels. Oh, this chest belongs to the expedition. Weird that all of a sudden I get uh, particular about property. Cool. And you can see that my uh, my stamina bar fills up a little bit faster with, uh, with the new level. Uh, going to... So, there's that. Yeah. Uh, the controls are not especially great on this, actually. I am doing forward, back, and turning on the left stick. Right stick, you cannot uninvert the up and down look. Otherwise, you are doing stuff with the D-pad and the shoulder buttons. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can try and lure this guy out. Yeah, the combat, especially early on, is a lot of doing forward and back. Uh, going in to do your attack and then hoping that you dodge back out of the way when they attack. And these enemies are not particularly smart or aggressive. Which, you know, same. Uh... Double check and make sure the uh, walk is off. Okay. I remember having a motion sickness problem with this game when I played it. It's just a little bit too swimmy for me, but I should be okay. 140 gold. Let's see if I can go get some crappy gear. 
uh, for that. for a rock of life. They are hard to come by. Um, let's see here. I want to go do a little bit of killing to get that short sword. Um, that'll make me more efficient than just this club. And that's the last of the uh, the grinding that I will do. At least for now. Oh yeah, and uh, you don't want to fall. <laughs> you don't want to fall down that well. Uh, don't fall down the well, um, because you will die until you raise your level enough to uh, survive it. Shit. Um, healing eventually gets easier too. Both um, magically and with items. Because you get spells and uh, there are different kinds of healing water that you can get with crystal vials. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Have I gone up here? This is how I get up to that uh, hidden room. Cool. Sweet. What is that? Oh, just a better heal. Still good. We're going into a really tough dungeon. Uh, like right away. We're gonna go into a mine with some poisonous blobs that you really have to watch out for. Huh. Let's come back to that. I think they want me to <laughs> I think they want me to jump off of this uh, rampart. Oh, or fall off of it and take substantial damage. And a helmet with like a pauldron. back up around the side, killing any of the plants that we see on the way. They're on a relatively limited respawn. God, I love the music in this game.
Um, shit. Yeah, no. Not a way down. Okay, I think this is going to be asking some gymnastics of me. Like, if I can run and land on that little post up there, I may might be able to walk over and get that, uh... Get that thing. And if I don't, I will land on the ground and probably get real hurt. Yeah, no, real hurt. Cool. doing. I need just a little bit more. And then I can stop farming. Have you see my friends say hello to them for me? Oh, they're gonna be skeletons. My, my dude. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, those things are really, really rough. The uh, potato bugs up there. I'm gonna go back in and see if any plants are back. If I can get one more level up. Yes, RDC, you can circle strafe, although it's not necessarily as fast as your uh, other movement options, and it is more effective. It is more effective to juke in and out. Well, um, I might just be too conservative here. I uh, can probably save and then go try to take out those pill bugs. Worst thing that happens is I die and I have to reload. make run and activate the same button.
Um, Eli asks, Cole, what do you think of Metal Gear Solid V? Similar vibes? Uh, I like it quite a bit. It was one of my favorite games that first year. And yeah, the story's a bummer, but that is small potatoes compared to it being kind of just legit one of the best <laughs> stealth and open world and action games. Like, it, com it accomplished a lot. Okay, easy enough. All right, so that was bad. Um, whoopsie. So they have short leashes, which is good. <sighs> These things are creepy. Look at those tiny little legs. Sweet. Level up. So your level and the kind of weapon that you're carrying, those both determine how fast your um, attacks will recharge. for a sword. Let's leave those guys for right now. And then we're going to venture into the outskirts around that little temple. and go into the mines, the poisoned mines. <laughs> Max S point. Why would you want this game remastered? I love the realism of having to pant and puff and wait 20 seconds between swings of my blade. <laughs> bordered up the passage to an old cemetery. Stay clear of that area. It is not safe. Okay. And there we are. We have upgraded. Oh yeah, also there's a there's a quip uh a quip burden too. And different kinds of damage. So you're starting to see you know you're seeing stuff that would be carried forward, different um you know, slash stab damage, uh, you know, hit, things like that, different ele elements. The uh oh yeah, there's durability too. Fuck. <laughs> and yeah, this has you know, a lot more damage total, which is good. Oh, oh, oh. 
let's say, with my sword and then go become the ruiner of pill bugs. Or the ruin ruiner of barrels. Yeah, no. I need a more I need a stronger blunt weapon. Thank you, game. Wooden box. And I hear more uh, plant men out there. Audio cues become really important. Hey, buddy. Let's see how many hits it takes now. So yeah, bit of a step up. Just pretend I put in a little bit of a, I put in a video clip of Mr. Burns picking up a can, buying five cents worth of nails with the deposit, and then picking up three cans with a nail and a stick. You don't want to walk on that gray stuff, by the way. It is lava. All right, so we have a few things, a few avenues we can take. Ultimately, what we're trying to do here, we need to repair the Spring of Healing. Not ultimately, for this area. Repair the Spring of Healing and get some Crystal Vials. That way we have recharging heal water we can do. Um, and I believe this Temple of Healing is all locked up for now. Wait, we need to find like a back way in. Oh, no. Well, fuck me. big old dragon man up there to fulfill the promise the forest folk and the earth folk shall unite in a harmony becoming one So I'm probably overstepping and getting into... No, just barrels. No! Uh-oh! <laughs> Goodbye, my buddy! I'm not, I'm not strong enough for you yet, but that is how uh, hidden doors are handled. Illusory walls. Okay, 
Um, that is a slime monster. Oh, fuck. I think the, uh, the, the red ones are poison, not the green ones, counterintuitively. You want to go to the ancient city, yeah? Well, you're out of luck. A monster's nest is blocking the passage. If only I could use magic like the forest folk, then I would burn it away. Did you know? The forest folk were skilled at imbuing tools that stored the power of nature. People say the spring outside was once filled with healing water. Perhaps this water was used in the imbuing process. I have a special vial. I heard it was used to hold the, spe the healing water. If you want it, we can work out a deal. The rock of life that was once excavated is hard to find nowadays. If you want the vial, I'll exchange it for a rock of life. Okay. So, we have two people who have talked about the rock of life. Hey there, Sean. I've been bad about saying hi to people as they pop in. This has been a very popular stream, so... It's been, uh, you know, pe new people have popped in at the, uh, at a uh, faster pace than I expected, which is a nice problem to have. All right, more of this. We're going to get that rock of life, um, down in the mines. wooden shoes. <laughs> they are precisely wooden shoes. Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, that, re that recovers your mana. Okay, let's see if I'm ready to deal with a spider. Oh, I am not. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, why don't we? Um, Indigo SVK asks if we did Shadow Tower Abyss on Bonfire Side chat. Uh, yes, yes, we did. Uh, that was I think twenty. 2015, 2016, something like that. Yeah, weirdly, I didn't care for Shadow Tower Abyss as much as the original. Um, the original Shadow Tower is real good. I considered uh, starting this series with that. Part of my goal for this for this series is um, I don't uh, probably not going to cover anything we haven't covered in the past on Bonfire Site Chat. Fuck. So, 
rather than going, well, no, I'm going to go indoors and get those, get the gear that I need. Especially some shoes. I feel like those make a difference in the mines. He <laughs> says, I don't know what those things are. They're like big, uh, like big pill bugs. And I'm certainly not going into that, uh, into the spider room. Um, JD asks if we've ever covered Baroque for anything. No, we haven't. I'm only vaguely familiar with what that is. I know that it was a GameCube game, I think. I know that it is JRPG-E. JRPG adjacent. Okay, let's go check out those hills, the, uh, the, the caves in the hills. Turn around. Turn around. Don't lunge. I told you not to do that. Beware poison. Okay, let's keep that for a moment. I think one of these little areas here has a has a save. Yeah, there we go. My vague memories have served me well. Hey there, Thugnificent. I like your uh username. Let's go to the poison mine. We want to be on the lookout for the red slimes. If you step on them, you will be poisoned and you will likely die. Uh, it would probably be wise for me to go buy some antidotes, but I think I'm going to find some inside. Or at least they will be drops on these bastards. Okay, so you see how poison works. <laughs> um, very effectively is how it works. status effect.
nope, I'm going to die. <laughs> Gets level up, dies. That's the way she goes. Let's see what's back here first. Oh, cool, little uh, village. I forgot about this. Oh, good dog. That's right, okay. Fine, don't talk to me. There's nothing to do here. It's so boring. The stupid dog doesn't want to play with me. My mother is sick. I came here to take care of her. If only I had a rock of life. I found a pretty rock in a house over there, but it wasn't the right one. My father told me that the rock of life can cure any type of disease. I hope that he comes back soon. I'm so bored. Let's see if I can rob this family. Have you come here searching for a rock of life? The mine can be found on the other side of the ruins. If you're planning on going to the mine, it would be wise to take along some of the antidotes found in this valley. The old mine shaft has been sealed. Be careful not to get lost in there. My husband hasn't come back yet. I hope he's safe. My illness makes it difficult to move about. If I could move, I would go search for my husband. All I can do is pray for his safe return. All right. Uh, shield. Neat. Hey, Jack. Simple wooden shield. It's better than nothing. Cool. All right. She, um... Uh, the mother talked about some antidotes found in the valley here. Legend says, if you say Shin Megami Tensei three times, Gary's blood pressure triples. Don't, don't make Gary die. It would be very hard to do my job without him. Again, I need a better weapon to bust this stuff open. I think the Morning Star is the first one that'll do that, or maybe there's a pickaxe I can find in the uh, in the mines. <laughs> Eli, but really, this little village seems like it was taken out of Pathologic, right? Okay, more pill bugs. Cool. I think those ones are harder. Do they look more red to you than the ones outside? I hope that doesn't mean they're poisonous. Oh, the other one. Aggroed. Fuck. Yeah, these are definitely tougher. No, I'm not going to let you bite me. Son of a bitch. There we are. 
Give me them dotes. That's what we call antidotes when we're in a hurry. Oh, sweet. I've already got some. It will hardly be enough, but it is a start. Ooh. Yeah, I love the atmosphere of this game, and I think that uh, it has a lot to do with the character, or, you know, the character and enemy models and the um, music. The music is doing a lot of work here. So, hopefully this layout holds. I, I don't know how high the death count is going to go. It'll be fun if it gets to like three digits and it has to get real tiny. I can save my money. I've already got a lot of antidotes. Mines. That piece of air that I swiped was keeping me from getting to the mines. So the nice part is, when you go to the menu, time, time pauses, so you don't have to lose a lot of health to poison in the process of uh, firing up your antidotes. I don't know if these things are attacking me or if I'm just accidentally stepping on them. I mean, it could be both. <laughs> Eli says, Cole, near automata episode when? Uh, of what? Of this? Probably not. I'm only going to do stuff we've we've covered on bonfire side chat in the past um of waff uh yeah gary's the, the limiting factor every time somebody says hey gary you should play near automata 
uh, he puts off playing it for another year. I've played it and gotten the first ending, and I like it. But we uh, we both have to be on board for a game before we uh, do it. There's an interesting gameplay feature to the top of this mine. Mine. Um, let's see, I think it's over in this direction. That healing spring is a limited source of... Full heals. The caveat there is that it is limited. But it is how you do do your, you know, bonfire style healing um, before you get access to the unlimited uh, healing waters. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go save. Oh, no. And I'm lost. That was that was a record, I think. <laughs> I want to save after I've been taken out a bunch of those slimes at the front. Did I level up at that? No, I got a lot more, a lot more gold though. So that way is blocked. We have two ways to go forward. We have the bridge and we have the ladder. I forget which one is better. Uh, let's try the bridge. Get across on the same level. Ugh, bats. Fucking bats. are in good shape. And I think we've got our first poison zombie. Fuck. Elevator and rest area. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Forgot about the vomity dudes. Come on. Come on. That's right. Seventy gold, wow. Ah, look at that walk animation. Oof. Whoa, that takes a chunk out of ya. Just so casually vomits. Shit. Ha <laughs> Pickaxe! Yes! I think that is what I need to bust open those barrels. JDS, if you can stun lock enemies in this? Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'd have to play with it. And somebody earlier asked, do you have to look up to hit enemies that are flying? Uh, yeah. The enemy has to kind of vaguely be in the center of your screen. these, huh? Oof. Okay, this might not be the best way to proceed forward. So let's uh, let's back up. Harris asks, "Does the game? Does the whole game take place in this cave?" No, no, there are varied uh, there are varied environments. Although it's all it's all kind of gray and brown. Again, for anybody who's just tuned in, these red slimes are the fucking devil because they poison you. And poison is serious business.
Okay, Eli says they think that I'm walking into the... I'm walking into the slimes. They don't seem to be doing a uh, an attack animation. Do I want to go down there, or do I want to go save and use my pickaxe to bust open some more barrels? How much money do I have? A lot. Um, yeah, let's venture back out. Whoa! Okay. This is going to be tough. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can wait out the poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poison panic time is absolutely real. I'm not going to engage with that. All right. At least I can buy some more antidotes. Give myself some uh, some extra chances. As you can see, poison is nothing to be messed with. What is over here? conservative here. Just get to some barrels that I can bust open and see if there's good stuff inside. Let's start in that shop. things. <laughs> Barrel. Okay. 
What's going to be in here? Haha, better helmet. What? Did I accidentally hit that wall? I certainly didn't mean to break that down, but okay. I'm not gonna fuck with the skeleton right now. Not until I get something that does substantial blunt damage. I just sold my last map to some old man. Okay, that morning star would be really nice. upstairs. I think the old man that he was referring to is the person waiting on this, on this side of that bridge that was down, so let's go over and talk to him, see if he'll give it to me. No, he's gone. Now yeah, the world stayed advanced when I went into the mines. plant men around. Let's beat up the last of these barrels, save, and then see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> uh, the magic system in this game is good. I mean, as good as something with this kind of unwieldy combat can be. So, got a little bit, and I've got some uh, antidotes. Let's uh, kill this guy, see if he drops me an herb. That would be good and fun. No, he just dropped a dime. Okay, back out we go. sleeping in her bed and now she's gone. She thinks she can just do that? Oh, 
Oh, fuck. He's chaining more attacks together together than I expected him to. Man, I could really do with some more healing items right about now. Here they come. Ugh. It's like I'm trying to drive a bus. <laughs> Cool, there's uh, something on that body over there. All right, uh, thanks for watching, Eli. And thanks for participating in the chat. Let's see, what are you? Oh yeah, molt bones, yes. Ops. Even leather armor, sweet. This is the other side of that. Yeah, yeah. And there's the, the, the shrine. Sweet. Oh, another short sword. That's okay. Uh, Rob asks, are you, do you plan to play the whole game eventually, or are you just playing a couple of hours? I uh, plan to play the whole game. It'll take a few weeks. Eventually I'll start fighting stuff that's more exciting than a than a bunch of pill bugs.
All right, take care, JD. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Greta. Hi, girl. Hey, kitty cat came to say hi. Okay, let's save and go back into the mines. So you can see, you get substantially more powerful. That's my old save from the end of the game. Yeah, I think we covered this like in, that must have been before Bloodborne, right? Was it before Bloodborne or before Dark Souls 2? I remember which apartment I was in, but... It was before Dark Souls 2, okay. Thank you, Zach. things. Ah! They have friends. enough. God, I hope there's something good back here. <laughs> guys are giving me any experience. Okay, antidote. Antidote and some kind of bracers. And a cave in.
What were those then? Why wouldn't those go? Uh, I guess the wrist is more for like magical bracelet things. Charge. Kablaoi. How's the status on that? Durability is fine. I'm eventually going to have to start cycling through these. Dealing with the uh, fragility of them. Ooh. What are you? Still no better. Tell you what, I'm going to use the unprecedented agility afforded to me by this game's engine to skirt around these guys. I think this gets me up into the rest area again. Uh, yeah, it does. Cool. I've gone kind of full circle, which means... The way forward is down that ladder back toward the beginning. So let's uh, juke around these guys again. I'm not going to fuck with them right now. I'm going to come back with better gear. I guess there's also the uh, the elevator that I can take if this ends up being nothing. are too quiet. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, you're jacked. Are you searching for a rock of life? It'll be hard without a pickaxe. I heard a loud noise a little while ago. I wonder if part of the mine caved in. There was a light here before I arrived. I guess there were other people around. I'm busy right now. Don't talk to me unless you have something important to say. I wanted to pay off my debts quickie, quickly, but I don't think this is worth it. I have better things to do than talk. Okay. Uh, Riley asks, does this game trigger your motion sickness at all? listening to the Half-Life 2 episode, you spoke about it a little bit. Um, Half-Life 2 has a very specific thing where you're in the boat and just there's something about the way it moves and the way your look is independent from movement um, that was just killer for me. This game has a setting that is killer for me called the walk effect. 
so you can kind of see the up and down head sway that goes on there. Uh, that eventually gets to me. So I turn that off. Um... Ooh, okay, so there's a body there, and there's some kind of gem. Oh, right. This. Yay. <laughs> Corpse fungus. having to equip the pickaxe and then and then put my uh put my shield and short sword short sword back on Okay, so there's a green gas kind of thing going on. Yeah, no, no. Uh, let's try the elevator this time. Because that green gas is going to be no good for me, personally. There's going to be more... Yep, nope. More red slimes. Of course. Wish I had, a, like, a spear for dealing with these. be tricky. Right, what hell is this going to lure me into? Probably, but probably more of that green gas. Okay, it's a poison swamp full of these pickaxemen. Shit. Circle around. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no,
What is that? Oh, cool. I don't have stuff. Sweet. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's Mr. Guinea. Yeah, he passed. Rock of life. do how do <laughs> I do not know how I get uh, back onto the elevator. Shit, there is. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I'm going to go back to the top. Actually, no, let me talk to my minor friend. I would like to say before I venture into the poison gas. Yes, Alex S. I love the music in this game. I didn't know he did work on DS3 and Bloodborne. Udix Gunder and Cleric Beast themes, huh? I need to give those another listen. The instrument palette kind of sets those apart for me. To me. It sets them apart from this. Of course, the music here is serving a different purpose, though. 
music in the Souls series, which is always for boss fights. Okay, so I've got a Rock of Life, and I have three people that I can give it to. I can heal the mom of that family. I can give it to that thief who would give me the Crystal Vial. Or I can give it to the merchant. I genuinely forget what happens when you give them to each of those guys. I'm gonna do something real quick here. It's kind of against the spirit of the exercise, but. And of course, nothing control finds for Rock of Life. Oh, hi, friend. <laughs> Riley says, I want a giant pill bug to be my friend. He's a friend and a toy. Rolls up into a ball for you. Pray for a safe return. Okay, nothing but dots. Let's see what the daughter says. does that crystal do? Sweet. out. It 
So I have magic now. And you can see how my stamina recovers a little bit more than my cast meter. So let's go use that magic on the uh, the red slimes. Why don't we? But let's save. Let's also use our money to buy some antidotes and some healing items because I'm going to go into that poison gas area and it's going to be a mad dash. And then once I clear the mines, that'll be it for tonight. Watch uh, social media and maybe Patreon for uh, about a poll. See when people are able to watch watch streams. I don't necessarily want my every weekend night to be taken up streaming, if I can help it. But um, I figured this was a good one for a start. James asks, I might have missed it earlier, but is this an emulation or on your PS2? Uh, this is on my PS2. I generally want to avoid emulating stuff, not for ethical reasons, like it'd be cool to have save states, uh, but just I've had stability issues in the past, and what I don't want to do is like sink 15 hours into streaming this game and have it be, uh, you know, unbeatable. <laughs> he went through the back. I told him of the dangers, but he ignored me. I'll deal with that later. No, I just, I've got a PlayStation 2 and for capture, I have a Razer Ripsaw, which is like one of the last, most recent, you know, it's one of the most recently manufactured capture cards that also takes in um, component cables. <laughs> Everything else feels real confident that everything anybody anybody would want to stream. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> everything anybody would want to stream would be on HDMI. Yeah, I don't think this game is especially expensive. Although that could have changed. I think when I bought our copies for Bonfireside Chat back in 2014, I think it was like less than 20 bucks a piece. Something like that. Which, to me, is a perfectly reasonable price. Sorry about that, man. My water in a noisy cup.
Okay. So let's see how this uh, how this spell works. Well. Huh. <laughs> that was super underwhelming. I forget how you <laughs> I forget how you uh recover mana. Oh, you have your you have mushrooms. We're gonna do something very foolhardy. I don't think there's any way to do this besides dashing through that, uh, through that poison gas filled area. Okay, get ready to increment the death counter, everybody. Okay, that's another rock of life, I think. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Okay, cool. That is good. All right, we're going to go. <laughs> Riley asked, damn son, where'd you find this? Oh, when, the, when I give it to the thief. Well... Never believe. You're gonna have to make it worth my while. <laughs> yeah, that spring dried up. But do I have another antidote? No, I don't. I do have a mushroom. Bust open this barrel. Go get that vial, and then I want to go see where that guy went beneath uh, beneath the shop. Then I'm gonna call it a night. Oh, this I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's been too long since I played it. Uh, 
I think he was up here. It would be really embarrassing if I did all of that and then died one of these dinky green slimes because I forgot to heal. nest is blocking the way forest folk could cast spells improve items let's give him this other rock of life so this is what a rock a rock of life looks like okay let's trade that vial is going to be extremely useful think of it like a uh, fairy bottle or a heart container. Any closer to a fairy bottle. And I I am shocked that I got out of this session with only two deaths. That is crazy to me. Don't worry, though. The death counter is going to stay the same. Or, you know, it's not going to stay the same, but it, I'll hold it over between sessions. That way we can see how many times I've died over the course of a single game. around with the skeletons just yet. This area is for a little bit later in the game, and I think whoever he's referring to is just a little bit beyond my grasp at the moment. So we'll leave it there. Awesome. Well, while I'm walking to the save state, well, uh, the save statue or whatever, save statue, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, the view count has been really great. I'm definitely going to do this again. Um, don't know when yet. Going to try and figure out a time that works best. But, um, yeah, just watch Patreon. Watch the, uh, the Slack channel um, for Bonfireside Chat. For the uh, for for the stream link, these are unlisted. Uh, I'm gonna get the archive edited sometime this week and put up there. Um, and then you guys can go back and pour over it. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Uh, if you are curious, I also do uh, horror game streams on Twitch at Twitch.tv/DuckFeedTV on Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, currently working my way through Silent Hill Origins. So, uh, take care, and yeah, have a good night, have a good week, any of those things. Bye-bye. And we all pray that we will have far more soon. <laughs>